Your faces. Your mom's faces. She's your mom too. Damn it. Good evening, Stephanie. It is Thursday, July 3rd. I worked never late night, however, my boss let me go a little bit early. Um, just because we've all been working very hard to get jobs out the door. Ugh. We got a couple of the major jobs out of the way. We're slowly getting caught up. <sighs> it's been a long week. I do have tomorrow off, however. Why? Because it's the 4th of July. I am going to try and get up really early, though. I want to see the hot air balloons walk. And maybe uh, dig up the guts to try and get a ride in one. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I've decided it's one of those things that you don't usually get the chance to do. So I want to try and do it. I'm going to try and get past my fear of heights and see if I can't get a ride. <laughs> if you don't hear from me on Monday, I probably died in an accident. <laughs> I'm tired, not as much as I usually am, thankfully. Um, I am proud of one thing in particular this week. I successfully completed the second pair of socks that I meant to make for Papa for Christmas. Uh, I started these in October. I finished one, started the other, then got what's called second sock syndrome. It's just where you don't want to finish the second one. Um, I am very tempted to redo the first one. So if you look, here's how a good toe looks. Here's how a bad toe looks. You can't really see, but um, on the good sock, you've got this nice line on either side to decrease shaping it. Well, this was only the second, or this is only the third pair of socks I've ever made, and they do a completely different toe from what I've done in the past. Um, so on this one, there's a line going there, and there's a line going there, and thus shaping the toe completely incorrectly. Not to mention, I don't know Bapa's shoe size, so I had to kind of guess off my own. This one is slightly larger than this one. This one's also more comfortable because of the toe, and it's a little bit longer. So. We'll see if I really feel like redoing a whole other sock. So while I'm waiting for new yarn to come, I'm also, I also got a bag that I want to make. And I just ordered some yarn for it the other day. It should be here next week. But to keep myself busy, I've been looking for just quick little patterns. to try trying new techniques. So, um, I started making a dishcloth. It's called modular knitting. And as you can see, I make one square, and then I did another square, and then I did another square, and I'm working on the last square to complete it. I think I'm going to try and do my first one for Gunnison this weekend. Um, your video was surprisingly short. It kind of shocked me. I'm sitting there going, wait a minute. Did something happen while I was uploading? Did this just, like, cut somewhere? No, it was a whole video. It kind of freaking me out. Are you okay? Stephanie, I'll see you tomorrow.